What's going on sniping for Dom fans and all you big big sexy supporters out there? My name is Derek. My gamer tag alias is for Dom. How the hell are you guys doing today? This this video has been requested by many many of my fans whether it was either YouTube or or as well as uh, Twitch and I just want to give a big big shout out before we get into everything here. Uh, I hit 40 48,000 followers on Twitch and it's just been surreal. Twitch has changed my life around. It's been my full-time job for a year now and I cannot thank everyone enough. Also to the YouTubers out there, the subscribers, we hit 11,000 subscribers on this channel and I cannot thank you guys enough. It is a blessing. Thank you guys so much. Deep down I can't even show you how much I am appreciative of this. So Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. The gameplay that you're watching, uh, pay attention to it. I thought I was going to have my first nuke. Um, I'm already I'm about to come up on prestige level 2. Uh, but this, I went 28. Uh, I got to 28 kills and I took my first death. And I was a little pissed off, but I, I, I we're going to cut the... The video will cut off around 28 kills uh, when I die. So, um, went a little bit more. But it's, an, it's a pretty insane gameplay. Uh, today's video is about getting... <laughs> Getting hit on by my ex-gay boss. Now, there's a lot in tune into this story, and uh, make sure you pay attention, okay? So, first of all, I don't want anybody to get it twisted. I have no problem with the gay community at all. In fact, if you've ever been into any of my streams, you know that I speak highly about the gay community. Even highly about my friends that are gay. My business uh, acquaintances that that I know that are gay like it, it, I believe in loving people and that's simply it I don't look at anybody I don't look at collars I don't look at race I, I don't look at you know um, sexual preference so I just I just want everybody to get that before I go into this so what had happened was I was working a job um, and I ended up getting to a scuffle with a manager and this is when I was just starting about to start Twitch I was about to give up on my gaming career and something happened at the job that I was at and uh, we ended up getting to a scuffle I ended up getting fired from that place and come come to find out they you know I didn't really do anything wrong the manager was having a bad day blah 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 I, I applied for unemployment and I got unemployment which everyone said it wasn't gonna happen so this enabled me to start my twitch career which is a blessing in disguise so there's a guy that I started going and plus I wanted to you know get my get back in shape you know for Dom and my family and stuff like that I was letting myself go and I was just I was just a miserable mess so, <laughs> uh, I'm at the gym, and I'm in the hot tub, go figure, and uh, there's a guy that is talking to me, and his name, his name is Don. So, he was like, oh, you know, what do you do for a living? I told him about what was going on with work and everything, and then I told him about Twitch, and he was like, he's like, huh, he's like, you sound pretty professional, you, it sounds like you like talking to people, blah, 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 and I'm like, yeah, definitely, definitely, and he's like, you know what, I, I want to I wanna give you a job. And I'm like, wait, what? He's like, yeah, why don't you come work for me? He's like, he's like, I'm a, I'm a pretty well-known realtor around this area. And then when I checked him out, he was definitely in the top 1% realtors around the area that I lived in. And I was just like, shit, this guy's pretty legit. So, you know, he was, he was really nice to me. Um, and he gave me a call a couple days. He's like, why don't you go ahead and come on in? Let's, let me show you what I do and what I'm going to have you do. And basically for him, what I was going to be doing was I was going to be making hard phone calls. Uh, to apartment complexes and stuff or people who bought property in the past or who are interested in buying property and just basically you know talk to them see what they're looking for if they're interested in buying or selling and um, the first day that I showed up he was like he was like you know I don't expect you to get any leads or anything like that um, and I told him you know I'm a pretty cocky person I'm like give me just an hour and I'll get something for you well, it wasn't right an hour, just a couple minutes over an hour, but I got him his first lead, and um, then I ended up, by the end of the day that I left, I ended up getting uh, uh, three more leads for him, and he raised, he was going to pay me $10 an hour, so he paid me $10 an hour, and then at the end of that day, he's like, I want to bump you up to 15 and I want you in here about 20 hours a week, and I'm like, holy shit, underneath the table, fuck yeah, man, I get to focus on my Twitch thing, blah, 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 after the first couple days that I was there, he... He starts calling my, my cell phone at like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. He's like, hey, you want to go to a strip club? 
I'm like, nah, you know, <laughs> I'm like, I don't really want to go to the strip club, man. It's 2 a.m. I'm trying to work my other job, by the way, that I tried telling you about. And this went on for weeks, and he would just call, and then he would be like, yo, let's go to the gym, let's go to the gym. He would make these little small comments. He'd be like, so I, I can tell you got a nice package. And I'm like, what? I was like, you know what I got in the mail today? He's like, no, I'm talking about in your pants. And I'm like, oh, uh, okay. And so it kind of it kind of threw me off a little bit. He would just make these little little hints, um, and he would be like, "Oh, you know, just joking, blah 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 blah." And it, this guy was like Doctor Jekyll and Miss Mister Hyde. Like it, he would go, he would freak out about certain things, and he would just ask really weird things of me. He'd be like, "So tomorrow, can you make sure your jeans are a little bit tighter for me so I can see the bulge in your pants?" And I'd be like, what the fuck is seriously going on? Like, I started getting creeped out. And then once I realized how crazy the motherfucker was, like, it, it put a bad taste in my mouth. And then after about, maybe about two months, and I didn't want to give up that kind of money. I wasn't doing anything. I was on the phone. I would go in five hours a day and, and make phone calls to people. And I love talking to people. But that's what happened. So this is this was something, if this ever happens to anybody else that is out there, just assess the situation. Just let that person know, like, hey, I'm starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable right now. And if you could please just back it up a little bit. If not, you know, I have rights just as well as you do. And I don't have any problem with you and what you do. But um, we need to take care of this. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is something that I, it's a little bit more detailed. I usually tell it better on Twitch. And uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the gameplay as well. Be looking on the lookout for a lot more videos that are going to be coming their way. There's the death. I'm out, guys. Thanks so much, Sniping for Dom fans and all you big, big, lovely, sexy supporters out there. Thank you so much. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check out my nightly stream on Twitch at Sniping for Dom. I love you guys. Have a lovely fucking day. Bye.